please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to keep enjoying the videos. How did Stephen Hawking die? Hawking was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, at the age of 21. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, is a group of rare neurological diseases that mainly involve the nerve cells, neurons, responsible for controlling voluntary muscle movement. Voluntary muscles produce movements like chewing, walking, and talking. The disease is progressive, meaning the symptoms get worse over time. Currently, there is no cure for ALS and no effective treatment to halt, or reverse, the progression of the disease. It's difficult to overstate the lethality of ALS, the condition with which Hawking lives. The disorder can befall anyone. It first brings muscle weakness, then wasting, then paralysis, ripping away the ability to speak and swallow and even breathe. The ALS Association says the average lifespan of someone diagnosed with a condition is between 2 and 5 years. More than 50% make it past year 3. 20% make it past year 5. From there, the number plummets. Less than 5% make it past 2 decades. And then there's Hawking. He has passed that 2 decade mark twice. First in 1983, then in 2003. It's now 2015. His capacity for survival is so great some experts say he can't possibly suffer from ALS given the ease with which the disease traditionally dispatches victims. And others say they've simply never seen anyone like Hawking. So what makes Hawking different from the rest? Just luck? Or has the transcendent nature of his intellect somehow stalled what seemed an imminent fate? No one's quite sure. Even Hawking himself, who can expound at length on the mechanics that govern the universe, is circumspect when it comes to an accomplishment that rivals his academic triumphs. Maybe my variety, of ALS, is due to bad absorption of vitamins, he said. Hawking's battle with ALS was different from the beginning. And those differences, scientists say, partly explain his miraculous longevity. The onset of ALS normally occurs later in life, the average age of diagnosis is 55, but Hawking's symptoms materialized when he was very young. It began with a stumble. That's it for this video. Please press the like button for Stephen Hawking. Thank you.